Welcome back to the shop, my friends. Steve here at SKS Props, and this is part seven in my HD Foam Samurai Armor series. In this build video, I'm gonna be making the Kote, or the forearm armor, and the Sunyate, or shin armor. And just like everything else, these are all made out of HD Foam, just like the rest of the armor set, so everything weighs next to nothing, and it's gonna look absolutely fantastic on display. Now, needless to say, this build series has taken me quite a while, and I hope that you have enjoyed it. I hope a lot of you are out there and inspired to build your own armor set, but I think with these pieces, I'm gonna wrap it up for now, and that's because I need to move on to other things. Uh, this has been several months of my life doing all the videos, doing the templates, all for you. And if you appreciate these videos and free templates, be sure to pick up some of my HD foam that you can find over at Blick Art Materials and go through the links that are in the description section and those that are on my website. Every time you do, not only are you getting fantastic foam, but you're helping support the channel, which means I get to continue to make awesome things like this and show you how to do it. So I wanna show you what it takes to put the Kote and the Sunyate together. Let's go ahead and get started. To start this build, I'm gonna begin with the Kote. The template will consist of parts 1 through 6, and all of these will need to be traced and cut out of some 6mm foam two times. Using a smooth sanding drum on my rotary tool, I'm going to round over all of the edges, giving them a slight bevel. The tinfoil technique is once again used to simulate the texture to match the rest of the armor. For all these pieces to wrap around my forearm, I'm going to glue several strips of 2mm foam to the back side. This will allow all these pieces to hinge and fit comfortably. A heat tool is once again used to burn all of the lace holes into the foam. And remember when sanding or heating foam to always wear your respirator. As an additional detail, I'm going to add a small strip of 2mm foam close to the edge of the armor. I originally had lacing holes at the bottom, but to match the rest of the armor, I'm going to use a lacing template. This strip is going to be traced onto 2mm foam and then glued onto the armor pieces. For the Sunyate, it's also going to be made up of six individual panels that need to be transferred and cut out of 6mm foam. These are also rounded over with a rotary tool and given the same tinfoil texture. Just like the Kote, strips of 2mm foam will be glued to the reverse to give this the ability to hinge. For the knee guards on the Sunyate, you're also going to take parts A and B and transfer and cut those out of 6mm foam. To aesthetically match the rest of the armor, small strips of 2mm foam are glued around the perimeter. I'd like the knee armor to have a compound curve. So first I'm heating the foam with a heat gun, and then I'm using the end of a bat as a foam anvil to stretch the foam in multiple directions. I'm having to do the tinfoil texture now because I'm not going to add additional heat later on. With the compound curves and the texture applied, these pieces can now be glued together. I use a pencil to mark placement on the back of the shin armor, and then I use some Bob Smith super glue to adhere these pieces together. To match the rest of the armor, I'm once again going to use my lacing template. This is traced and cut out of some 2mm foam. With all the armor pieces assembled, I can now use my heat tool to burn in the rest of the holes. Plasti Dip is used to seal the foam, and Krylon Red Oxide Primer is used as the color base. The primer had a hard time getting down in between the armor slats, so I'm going to take some Liquitex Mars Black and paint it in by hand. I 
After sealing and priming the foam, Liquitex Red Oxide was dry brushed onto the surface. along with a mixture of cadmium red as a highlight. Dirty Down Dark Brown Spray is once again applied to all the pieces to give it a weathered and worn look. After the pigments have dried, additional paint can be taken away using a damp paper towel. To lock all these colors into place, I'm doing a light dusting on the surface of a flat spray. Golden Brand Iridescent Bronze is painted along the trim using a filbert brush. The painting process for all of this is extensively covered in parts 1, 2, and 3 if you'd like a deeper dive. Utrecht brand iridescent gold is added to this as a two-tone highlight. Dirty Down Rust can now be applied to all the gold. Iridescent Gold is used once again as a final highlight. Athletic lacing is once again going to be used to lace all the armor points together. Notice that these holes are burned closer to the edge than a lot of the other armor pieces that I've assembled. Because the armor wraps around my arm and leg, it leaves a gap. Having the holes at the edge of the armor minimizes this distance, so it ends up matching the rest of the armor quite a bit better. 750 paracord is inserted underneath one of the lace points in the middle of the cote. This is going to wrap around the arm twice and it's going to be tied off underneath. To give the paracord a little bit of additional flair, I cut away the internal strings. Then I use a pick to separate the cords to make it look like a tassel. The same lacing weave process is also applied to the signate. The crisscross weave pattern that I'm doing on these armor pieces is exactly the same as the rest of the suit. Three quarter inch elastic is gonna be used to attach the sunyate to the legs. I use my heat tool to add some more holes into the foam. The athletic lacing will be inserted into these to create a loop. After being glued down, the 3 quarter inch fabric is pulled through and tied in the back. So you all can see the steps that I took to put together the Kote and the Sunyate to go right along with all the other armor pieces I've made for this Samurai series. I've actually really enjoyed the fact of going through all the historical books, all the references online, and trying to make an armor set as traditionally functional as possible, but out of foam, which means it weighs next to nothing and it looks awesome. So hopefully it inspires some of you to make your own. And if you are building any of my builds or utilizing HD foam, be sure to tag me at SKS Props on Twitter and Instagram because I want to see your creations. Until next time, build your best with the best. HD foam.